Two engine inside, totally nucleus. Two engines inside actually. Okay. On top, uh, Intel chips and uh, Linux uh, OS. So it manages everything. Caboose okay. Title, your music, very good um, dock inside. So we use that, and we stream it into continuous amps which is a four channel 400 watt per channel amplifier okay uh, and those amps uh, power these speakers which is tied tied speakers they're four-way active each driver has its own amplifier 400 watt oh great 800 yeah 100 watt peak so basically it's actively active system yeah. no amplifiers inside though they're all external driven so if you do have any problems it's very easy to absolutely. address it it's optimized and the cable is mogami 8 conductor on a top speaker okay uh, so customer no brain i mean woman can connect okay cool no polarity no messing with the cable excellent very dangerous to do that so um yeah a system, so the type of drivers you have here yeah the the it's very unique design in a way that uh, uh the subwoofer is a 13 maybe let's get a close-up here if we can yeah so sub is a 13 inch top Basically, it's a seal from box Denmark. sub. Seal box. Yes. Okay, sealed is the best for room. I agree. Uh, it's more, it's more secure at base, and also it's friendly to room modes and room. Yes, I agree. So, but it does require a lot of power. So right. So it's powered by 800 watt uh, max. Um, then the key is most of the dipole speakers. They have certain limitations, certain advantages, but integration with the base has always been a problem. So what we right. do here is we use open buffer midwoofer that okay. works between the dynamic sub yes. and playing a magnetic mid and tweeter oh, okay. to blend them seamlessly. Right. So it's an open back woofer. Working with the sub, they overlap, they create cardioid. Yes. Because basically, it's basically omnidirectional once it gets to the sub anyway. Okay, I am usually don't go into technique. Yes, you can with me because this is exactly what I will... Yeah. The thing okay. is, the sub is omnipolar, omnidirectional. The top woofer is dipole. They yes. overlap from 60 to 125, like upper mid base. Mm -hmm. And they cancel at the back. So they create cardioid, which is, first of all, friendly for room modes. Uh -huh. It doesn't excite that much. And it's less sensitive to the placement to your back wall. Gotcha. I mean, typically, dipole speakers there should be very careful. But that is cardioid. But then, from about 120 hertz, it becomes dipole. And it handles at 200 hertz to the planar magnetic mid. Okay. And that's the key to integrating dynamic driver with planar. They're both dipole. Gotcha. They're both fast. There's no right. box behind. So and both the tweeter and the mid range are planar. Planar magnetic. So yeah. you're keeping the same driver material, the coherencies. Exactly. Yes. How do you roll it off pretty high to the? Uh, so the uh, mid range is uh, planar magnetic from 200 hertz. Okay. Up uh, two kilohertz to the. Okay. Tweeter. The key to open buffer, and I, I have there's few people that did it, and uh, you know I have to give credit to uh, Zikrit Linkwitz. He yes. researched a yes. lot of it. He used a little different configuration. He used dynamic drivers and the right, dipole right. sub, right. which I think was his choice. But anyway, uh, trapezoid, you cannot have the, the, the transition. It's, it's difficult to make dipole to constant directivity, but that's the key. You have to have all your vocal range. You must have constant directivity so you have... The power in the room, your perceived sound, is spectrally balanced. So that's why irregular uh, buffalo, uh, sandwich with aluminum vinyl, and um, crossovers at 2 kilohertz. So it's a carefully optimized design. Yeah, that's very impressive. I like the fact that you have basically a little bit of open baffle base where it's okay to have an open baffle, where, but a seal box where it really I, counts. I'm, I'm, I'm formally trained electroacoustic engineer. Yes. It's like shorted circuit. If you open the woofer, it works against it yeah. itself. And what happens is you have to have a lot of them. And then Minor usually rate. you have to have a servo to keep it under. Servo yeah. or yes. EQ, right. but it just becomes um, difficult okay. to handle. And the base, the quality is different. 
So after I heard few systems, uh, yes, so yes. sealed enclosures yes. is what it takes. Well, you're echoing, you're, what you're saying is music to my ears and echoes what I've said a lot about open babble and bass seal. And this is actually what I try to do with my speakers. So music to my ears on that front. Let's go ahead and do music to my ears on the other front. <laughs> Anything that you like, uh, show off the speakers, it's fine by me. Okay, um, what do I have on the list here? Uh, why the rune is... Uh, I know Dominic feels a meal. A lot of people know that stuff really well. I, I guess I'm out of uh, rune connection. Okay, okay. Um, Dominic, okay. Yeah, I think you got a few of them on here. I have, yeah, I have... Uh, some room to breathe. Oh, what is going on? Somebody that's not connected, I think. Uh, Scroll down, maybe one that has a... If it shows the album cover, then it's probably connected, but something's not synced right now. It does play, though. It does play something. So, uh, St. Thomas, Sony Rollins, that was the... No, I'm locked out. Yeah, something's going on right now. Mighty Empire Streamer. It shows it's playing something, but not controlling anything. Oh, you know what? And, uh... Oh, jeez, okay. Our uh, rune. It's on. Rune. Let me see him. I'll let you play around with it, and I'll come back around. I'm going to go Please around the corner. Well, yeah, sure. no problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, mu at least I heard mu music to my ears with what your design is. Okay, yeah. What is the price point of this speaker? Uh, the uh, speaker with two cables uh, with two four-channel amps, about 77 to 80, depending on finish and cable. 77,000 to 80,000. Yeah, 80. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you okay, so much. Thank you.